Well, welcome to Daggerfall Unity. Elder Scrolls 2, to be exact. So, I know I'm playing Skyrim at the moment. I got other few things going on, but I've been seeing other people play this game, and I'm like, damn, I've never played this game. And honestly, I want to give it a shot. So what's hap- uh, so it is Dra Daggerfall Unity, it has mods, I have the Dream Pack, and a few other things. Um, I'm not exactly sure when this one's gonna be uploaded, how frequently. It probably won't be that frequent, maybe once a week, maybe less. But yeah, I say let's just get right into it, so expect me to die a lot. Alright, now where do I want? So... In Skyrim, I'm, I'm Breton, which we know they're, um, let's see, Somerset. Hi elves, hail from the province of Somerset. You are part of a tall, golden-skinned people, extremely intelligent, agile, and willful. The magical nature of Somerset Isle has made the high elves natural spellcasters who are immune to paralysis Poisons and spells. Is your character to be a high elf? No for now. Also, I notice I'm not capturing my mouse. I'll figure that in a second. Alright, I think that... Yep, there we go. There it is. Aha! Okay, Valenwood. Wood elves hail from the province of Valenwood. You are part of a tall, fair-skinned people known to be extremely agile and quick. Wood Elves have a natural affinity for the bow and arrow, and all members of their race have some ability with that weapon. There are well-known Wood Elves in most every class, but the Art of Thievery are their particular forte. Is your character to be a Wood Elf? No for now. Elsewhere. Kaji Tail from the province of Elsewhere. You are part, part of a, a tawny-skinned people, extremely hardy, intelligent, and agile. Many Khajiit have taken to painting their faces to be uh, to more resemble their legendary feline cousins, the predatory cats that hunt the great desert. Khajiit are on the whole excellent are bleh, sorry. Khajiit are on the whole excellent on are on the oh, holy cow, excellent climbers and adept in the arts of, of thief. Is your character to be a Khajiit? No, the Black Marsh. Arga Argonians hail from the province of Black Marsh. You are part of a highly evolved race of reptiles known for their intelligence, agility, and speed. Because of their rep reptilian nature, Argonians do not tire easily when swimming. While many Argonians have successfully mastered the art of thievery and spellcasting, there are some regarded well as warriors. Is your character to be an Argonian? Morrowind. Another one I have yet to play. Dark Elves hail from the province of Morrowind. You are part of a tall, dark-skinned people, known to be extremely stro strong, intelligent, and quick. They are extremely versatile in all manners of skills, and well-known as warriors and mages. Is your character to be a Dark Elf? And then we got Hammerfell, the goat. Well, we'll do High Rock. Eh, we'll just do Skyrim. Nords hail from the province of Skyrim. You are part of tall and fair-skinned people. Strong, willful, and hardy. Owing to the climate of Skyrim, Nords are resistant to the coldest of temperatures and take a little damage even from ice-based magical attacks. Nords are historically well-suited to all the arts of the warrior. Is your character to be a Nord? Hammerfell. Red guards hail from the province of Hammerfell. You are part of dark-skinned people, extremely hardy and quick. Legend has it that the Red Guard are an in that in, 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 more proficient with weaponry than any other race. In general, red guards make excellent warriors. Is your character to be a red guard? Or higher up? Breton's hail from the province of High Rock. You are part of tall, fair-skinned people, highly intelligent and willful. Magic seems to be infused seems to infuse the very being of the Breton people. As a race, they are more resistant to the effects of hostile magic than any other group, and thus are excellent in the arcane arts. Is your character to be a Breton? And then Imperial Province. No, you can't select that. So, mm, I'm crossing Breton off. We're not doing Breton. I'm doing that in Skyrim. 
I'm thinking I want to do so I don't want to do a strictly magic build because kind of doing that in Skyrim so I'm thinking either Hammerfell oh no why not mail uh choose Ooh. Let's uh, I'll do the questions if I'm not happy, I'll just choose my own class. Alright, here we go. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper is giving too much money back in exchange for one of the items. Do you A return to the store and give the shopkeepers hard earned money, explain to him the mistake. B pocket the extra money, knowing the shopkeeper in general, tend to overcharge customers anyways. Or C, decide to put the extra money good use and purchase items that would help your family. Probably C. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname. Even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have even asked him to stop. But he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? A, make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. B. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Or C. Beat your, beat up your cousin, then tell him if he ever calls you that nickname again, you'll bloody him up worse next time. Um... B. You are told that a young man has been caught by the village guards and accused of murder. Apparently his brother was killed by a group of four ruffians in the local tavern and his grief. The young man tracked each of them down and murdered them. Upon reflection, you believe that A. The young man acted honorably, avenging his brother's death. The village lord should let him go free. B. Even as you sympathize with the young man, vigilante law, oh, vigilant law cannot be tolerated. Yeah, it's vigilante, jeez. Vigilante law cannot be tolerated if there is to be peace. Or C, the young man's mistake was getting caught while expe expect exacting vengeance. For that, he must now accept whatever fate is in store for him. I'm going to say A. By the way, each question I answer, as you can see up here, they're very faint. But it kind of shows which classes, the main classes you'll get. So this is up here, Thief, they got Mage, and they got Warrior. I'm going to try and lean more this way, but I'm going to answer these as honestly as possible. There's a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe, eh, that this is a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are his own and no one. Not even the king has a right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. B. Loyal followers of the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies for it's too late. Or C. In these times, it is a necessary evil. Even, the, even you do not necessarily like the idea. A telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war, or in finding someone innocent of a crime. Oof. Personally, I want to go A. But C also makes sense. If it's time during a war... I don't, I'm not choosing B. So here's my thing. A makes sense. No one wants their mind to be read. No one... It's A person's thoughts should be their own. Screw you, get out of my head. But if it's during war and you're trying to find assassins and stuff, it's a necessary evil. Eh. Athisa, a friend, has been beaten by a boy several years older than either of you or her. She asks for your help. Are you more inclined to A. Gather a bunch of friends together and ambush the boy, teaching him a lesson about bullying. B. Tell Athisa to avoid the bully. No reason to make things work. Yeah, right. Not doing that one. C. Challenge the other boy, knowing that you will probably take a beating, but confident that if you do it enough times, he'll move on. Pick a fight with someone who's easier target. See? Well, in the marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does, even as he does so, the noble notices and calls the sea guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. Do you 
Okay, pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. B, pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money to the rightful owner. Or C, leave the bag there, knowing that it's better not to get involved. Uh, uh, B. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into the alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it to you. A. Drop the sweet roll, step on it, then get ready for a fight. B. Give him the sweet roll now, without argument, knowing <laughs> that later this afternoon, you will have all your friends with you, and you can come take whatever he owes you. C. Act like you're giving the sweet roll, but last minute, throw in the air, hoping that they'll pay attention long enough so you can get a shot on the leader. You know what? If you want it, I'm going to just step on it. F you. <laughs> The arms master poses a question one day to his class, a company of a hundred men is attempting to flee from the enemy. There are two paths out of the broken stronghold. One path will kill half the men under the officer's command, but the other half will survive. The other path has a 50% chance that everyone will die, but also a 50% chance that everyone will survive. As the commanding officer, would you A, choose the path that would guarantee half your men would survive, B, choose the path that has 50% chance that all would survive, and a 50% chance all would perish. C, turn the choice over to your men and let them decide by majority vote which path you... Okay, C is going to take too much time. B is too risky. It has to be A. It, it, it like, you have 50% chance everyone will live or die in B. It's too much, and then honestly, C is going to waste too much time if you're in trouble. It's not, no. You're at the weapons practice. Your arms master is very old now, but takes his teachings very seriously. You have heard him say it all his, he has left. Oh, I'm sorry. You have heard him say it's all he has left in life. Today, he has ceaselessly taunted you at every mistake. Finally, he asks you to attack him with the same technique you just did, in an effort to show you the proper execution to you. A. Do the technique just as fast so that he can block it, knowing that it's more important to allow the master to retain dignity, regardless of your personal feelings. B. Attack him at full speed, knowing that you could probably score the hit justifies unfair treatment of you, showing the class that you were actually doing it right. Or C. Refusingly practice, unable to compromise your anger and with his dignity, and realizing that whatever course you would choose would cause you to lose respect for either him or yourself. Not C. So A, fine, he's an old arms master, you attack, but he still blocks it, showing he's better than you. But honestly, if he's training you, and I mean this, if he's training you and he wants to see you pull this off, if you actually succeed in scoring a hit, I think he would be more proud than disappointed. So I'm going to go B. An old man stops you on the way to the market claiming to have been robbed. He's lying on the trail and seems gravely injured. He asks you to run to town and get the constable. You give him your word that you will go directly to town and bring the constable back. As you make your way back, you notice a suspicious man creeping along another trail. He doesn't seem to notice you yet. Do you A, follow the man, re reasoning that if this man is the robber, you can lead the constable directly to him and safeguard other travelers, although it would mean breaking your word. B, take note of him, but continue on, reasoning that the man on the trail is hurt too badly to stop regardless of any consideration. C. Take note of him and continue on, reasoning that your word is your bond and that it takes procedure over anything else. B or C. It's not worth following him for A. I'll, yeah. Oh, wait. Archers are warriors, especially trained in the bow. Um, do I want to be an archer? I wasn't expecting an archer. So, our, okay, archers are warriors, specifically trained in the use of a bow. The most important skills to an archer are archery, hand-to-hand, -hand, dodging, axe, blunt weapon, 
Blunt weapon and critical striking. Sure, let's do it. Would you like to fast? No, choose. Yeah. More questions, everybody. Beside the bow and arrow, you are best at short bladed weapons, hand to hand combat, axe fighting. I'm going to say axe. What motivates you into a life of adventure? Riches, fame, knowledge, fun, helping others. I'm going to say fame. Uh, which of the following skills have you been studying the longest? Dodging, stealth, backstabbing, lockpicking, pick. I'm going to say lockpicking because I have locked chess, a mod on the game. I'm going to go that. As a child, her nickname was Rabbit, Guppy, Quicksilver, Scrappy, Monkey. I'm going to say Quicksilver. Of all disagreeable types, you have the most personal hatred for... Sanct sanctimonious priests, diabolical wizards, stupid peasants, power mad robber. Oh, that. You have unusually high affinity with. Unusually high affinity. The savage harpies, the simple giants, the glorious dragons, the immodest nymphs, the infernal daedra, the. Bu the, the spriggans, the primitive centaurs, and the mischievous imps. Mmm. Oh, why not? Nymphs. You have the most trouble with resisting poison, staying awake and alert, getting along with others, avoiding diseases, resisting spells, fighting and parrying. I'm going to say staying awake and alert. Since child, since childhood, you saved 100 gold pieces, a book, a dozen arrows, or a cuirass. Um, I don't... So, gold pieces be nice. A dozen arrows should not... Uh, a book? Probably a cuirass. <laughs> you feel most comfortable on stable ground, in the water, on a ledge of a tree, anywhere in the dark with other people. Given 200 gold pieces of reward, you decide to save it, buy an ebony dagger, buy a rare book, buy a ruby, or buy a silver staff. Probably save it. Uh, you know what? Ebony Dagger's probably really good. You spend any free time you have training with short-bladed weapons, hand-to-hand -hand combat, axe-fighting blunt. I'm gonna say archery. You are intimate friends with a monk, a mage, a rogue, a warrior, or an assassin. Let's see. If I'm an archer, I probably want a warrior. Okay. Ooh, wow. The underworld and the scholars love me. Name thyself. Okay, name in time. Hmm. I'll just go generic. I shall call myself random. Nelp. Rathu. Oh god. Lith. Light. Lighten. Delta. Mer no. Reman. 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 Rosh. I shall be known as Rosh. Okay. Also, I got HD faces. Yay. I'm a red guard archer. That's going to be a weird combo. No, no. That is the worst face I've ever seen. Nope, nope. I like that. All right, so archers are probably going to be, yeah, a lot of agility. Also, holy cow, this is really good, actually. Uh, I'll give myself some intelligence, one will... One endurance. Uh, there we go. And then... There we go. Alright, archery. Let's get up the 50. And then dodging up the 30. Axe. Blunt. Crit. Mm -hmm. Um, Crit will be important. And then minor... Alright. Probably... Nope, don't worry about these. I could probably level them up. All right. Long blade, and then I have that dagger short blade. I'm only gonna do average. Am I okay with Rosh? The red guard? Yeah. Let's do this. My first time playing Daggerfall. Let the adventure begin now. Four hundred years after Tiberseptus 
drain. The beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close in the empire of Camriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Man, nothing like early video game cutscenes. Oh. I thought they had the up ones, but oh well. Hemp, okay, ignore that. You wake, you wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you're on a boat en route to Daggerfall when a storm of supernatural strength boiled over Iliac Bay like a magna, mal, malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promontory rock. There, you found the cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only enough, only just lit a small fire when the mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you could begin the Emperor's quest. No, I do not want the tutorial. Uh, sure, whatever. Alright. As you can see, this game looks amazing. All right, what am I beginning items? Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, iron battle axe and the ebony daggers right there. Also, okay, okay. All right. Okay. But yeah, this is the game. I have settings right here where I can uh, change some of them. Effects, I got some bloom on. I could change the aspect ratio if I need to. I'll turn it off, actually. Also, the bloom is a bit distracting. Alright. And now, I'm going to save it. Um, trapped. There we go. All right, I say we get moving. Oh, come on, come on. 
Holy cow, do I suck? Come on. There we go, holy cow. Leather boots. Can I equip them? There we go. An iron die katana and a steel long sword. Let's see, what are my skills again? No. No. That's a beastinary. That's the X button. That's the Z button. That's the crouch button. That's the notebook. That's the map, which... Wow, that's actually a pretty decent map for an early game. Alright, F6. Let's see. So, the iron battle axe is what I'm missing with. I can go iron war axe if I get crazy. Or, let me see. Um, I also got the iron flail, which does do a little more damage. Or I can try the die katana and see what happens. There we go. Also got HD weapons, so they all look real nice. Also, that's some good looking fire. Huzzah! I challenge thee. I am a red guard known as Ward. Ariel. Oh, hi. I was gonna change my weapon real quick, but it seems we're doing this. Come on. Yep. Yep. You know what? Yeah, you know what? That's not gonna work. Um. The only small weapon I have is you. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm waiting. I'm... There it is. Huzzah. At you. Here we go. I'll keep this on. Because my affinity is not for small weaponry. No. Alright. Money. Cash moolah. Heal up. I have to check the light mod after because I have darker dungeons, but it looks a bit weird for me with all that fog. Right, and I think it's F9 is quick save, yes. Because I did have to test this out to make sure they work. The only one's not really working is the, the mod for the dungeons. I'll adjust that. Oh! Oh, too bad for that rat. Right now it's 104 in the game. Alright. I remember who's down here. Hello. Come on. Let's talk this over. No. There we go. Oh, wait, I forgot. I had another mod on. Oh, well. Ooh. Leather boots. Leather... S okay, plus three. Plus three. Oh, an iron longbow. Perfect. Alright, equip those. And then I'm going... Uh, the longbow? Why not? Let's try it. Because I have yet to even use the bow. First, let's rest. Excellent. There's the bow. I got 30 arrows. I'm curious to see how this goes, because I actually have not used a bow in this game. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, okay. I also have a mod where I can speak different languages and try to entice people. Nope. Oh, wow. Either bows are really good. Equip. Um, I'll take your arrow. Elven? Alright, that's an elven. 5 to 19. I have an iron. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? You can keep this. I'll take yours. Uh, I'll take your gold and... 
Here, you can have that. I'll take this. No, no, no. I'm still going to equip the bow. Yeah, you keep that. No, 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 no. I equip this. We're happy. Because I know this game, I can't be a loot whore in. Because you only have so much space. Right now, we are getting our places. Okay. Come on. There we go. Let's rest up. And I do my best to get all this alive without dying. Right now, the bow is nice. Don't come near me. There we go. Nope. You know what? I think bow might be... I think I like the bow. Not gonna lie. The problem is I'm... There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. I just noticed that. The bow string... Oh. Yeah, you know what? Mm, I might want a spare bow. One second. There we go. Um... You or ye? Yeah, you. Nope. You. And then equip. Wanna go? There we go. Give me my arrows back and this really nice shirt. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow, that cloak. Ooh, yeah. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna sell it next chance I get. Oh, yeah, this is a mini-map. If you want to see what it looks like, there you go. I haven't figured out how to adjust the mini-map size. I am not using it. <laughs> yeah, I I just have it installed at the moment. It's there. Oh, hi. Oh, wait, what? How are you? Level, okay. You wanna follow me? Damn. Um. Okay. Okay, I can pluck the arrows I shoot out corp corpses. It's really nice. Also, thank you for assisting me. Ooh, a toga and a common symbol. I'm uh, just gonna keep the yellow shirt on. Nope, okay. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Wait, are you attacking me? Oh, no, he's trying to attack someone through the wall. Okay, buddy. I have a friend. Oh, wrong way. I can hear my armor. Okay, we'll F9 it. I want to get out of here alive. Oh, no, no. Oh, hey, 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 follow me. Damn it. Um, take a look at my wear. Right, would you have anything for sale? I don't know. Take a look. Oh, um, where am I? I'm the privateer's hold in the Daggerfall region. Um. Excuse me coming through. Thanks. Okay. I have a very, very small chance of actually recruiting people. I have to actually uh, level up my language. Which, right now, being a new character... Yeah, my language skills aren't that good. Also, give me a second. I keep forgetting the controls. But where's the... Ah, F5. Oh. No, that's the wrong button. I want F5. Alright, so let's see. We got... Our archery's ready to level. My hand-to-hand, -hand, no. My dodging is getting there. Major Axe. Eh. Blunt crit. 
Miscellaneous ears all the language. So many things are ready. Yeah. Uh, uh. Hey buddy, keep doing you. Glad you're not killing me. Alright. Oh. There we go. I'm taking my arrows back. Yeah, hey, what am I doing? Alright, there's two pathways. Well, three actually. I'll go on this way first. Got it. Okay. Alright, it goes upstairs. There's nothing in here. Right, I'm gonna go the other way because that goes upstairs. Short bow. Ooh. Hmm. Give me a second. Also a vest. Give me a second. <laughs> no, vest is all right. I'll, but the yellow shirt just has it going on for me. I'll just put those in there for now, cause, and you can have that ugly, ugly cloak. I'm taking that though. I already got a helm. Can I equip that one? Let's find out. Can I equip that? I can. I'll put that in there for now. Then I got the, uh, do I want her steel short bow? Let's see, this one is used, that's battered. I could grab it as a spare for now. Oh my, oh, okay, they're dead. Uh, short skirt, no, leather cure. Hmm. Okay, now the thoughts. Do I want to have greaves, chain greaves, or leather? Honestly, oh wait, the treaties of mannerisms, I'll take that. Arrow, bell, I can sell you. Madness, money. Here, I'll give you this for now, the buckler, the long sword. I'm keeping all those. You can even have the Iron War Axe, which is... yeah. Alright. I'm being very, very careful of the grab, because I can only hold so much. When I get out of here... oh! I leveled up! Um... I could bring my agility straight to 70. Or I could bring my luck to 60. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's just do a straight up agility. There we go. Very nice. And now, let's rest again. Fully healed. Let's go. Alright, so far I see nothing. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, I just see nothing. Uh, that's the stairwell, and that's where I went in. Meaning, I'm... Worth... Okay. Hmm... Nope. What was that noise I just heard? Also arrows. I gotta see what's happening. Okay, fine. No one's impressed with me. I get it. I'm trying. Oh, hey, there's the exit. Nice. I'm not gonna go there immediately, because... Um, there's actually more things for me here to do. I'm gonna save it. 
Yeah, I'm, or Archer right now is actually pretty alright. Oh, hi. Follow me? No. Okay. Well, um, nice seeing you, friend. Oh, hi. Nope. Yeah, it's like my necromancy. Oh, backstabbing. I don't think I'm backstabbing with the bow, but hey, if it counts, it counts. This rat is taking on a skeleton right now. It did take on a skeleton. Listen, man, let's talk about this, okay? Holy cow. Yeah, I would love to learn about archery, yes. Right, hit him again. I missed. Okay. Ooh. Cloth amulet. I don't care. I'm sorry, rat. I'm sorry. Um. Magic items. Cloth amulet. And it costs 1,020. It, I, we don't know the powers, though. So, yeah. Yay. I could equip it, though. Uh, and I, oh, come on. There we go. I don't know what it does, but I have it on me. Um, I'm gonna hit F9 again, because if I run across another play skeleton, that's gonna be a fun, fun thing. The dungeon. Yeah. I see the seams. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, hey. Follow me. Oh. Uh, do you have anything for sale? Yeah, excuse me. Coming through. Lady! Behind you! Oh no, he killed the thief. That thief was my friend, and you killed her. Oh, that hurts. Come on. Damn it. Come on. Yes. Oh, I accidentally let that one go. There we go. No. There we go. I'm feeling good about this. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, that one actually hit. Never mind. Damn. I was over his head. Okay, I hit him in the crotch. Nope. I think we're almost there. Oh. Come on. Stop. Oh. Give me your loot. Oh, that looks ugly, not gonna lie. Also, this is actually better for me, so I'll give that back to you. I don't need another dagger. I also don't need another bow. Speaking of which, this one's worn. Well, also, I'm near death and need sleep. So, anything to loot in here? No, there's nothing to loot in here at all. Great. Well, so far I haven't died once, which is good. It means I'm good at the game. I wish. I hope archery is shockingly better than I thought it'd be. Right, I'm actually going to change my weapon out because I love the bow, which I got a few of them. Uh, where is... I'm gonna wear a yeah, not wear use a dagger for now. There we go. All 
right, let's uh, explore the rest of this dungeon. I have to get back to that one place. Here we are. I'm just going to drop down. Ooh, handy. Ah, uh, it takes you up there. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, wrong button. I'm going to save it. Oh, hello. The one... Oh. Okay, so... Ow. That's all I have to say. Oh, wait, did the game freeze? Oh, no, we're good. Also, why is the bloom still on? I thought I turned bloom off. Yeah, Bloom's off. What are you doing? Vignette, Dither, Anti-Aliasing. I could turn colors. Uh, dungeon. I don't know. Come on. Yeah, let's do this. Fight to the death! Wasn't expecting an orc this soon. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Oh, ow. Oh, no. Alright, he's on the ropes. He's backing up. Come on. Yes! I'll just take the gold. Oh. And then there's nothing else. Actually, I should probably do this. There we go. I've been here for probably what seems like four days. Hey, buddy. Oh, nope. Not impressed. Okay. Come on. Nope. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Holy cow, he's going to get me. Alright, let's do this. No. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh no, I'm, I'm a dead man. what I wanted. Haha. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> oh. I'm sucking. You know what? Why am I using this when axes are my weapon? Da -da. There we go. Try this again. Oh, he's coming to me. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Oh, follow me. Hey! Oh my god. What is your name? Um. Oh, you're gonna die real quick, Deadpool. Trust me. Do you have anything for sale? What do you have? Uh, a sash, a steel tanto, an iron short bow, leather greaves, leather boots. Uh, do you want to see my wares? I can sell you some that. I can also give you... I'm not going to use you. Is a flail a blunt weapon? I'm going to assume yes. So I will select a... An iron dagger. I'm going to sell that. Sure. Oh, you only have five gold. Never mind. I have a new friend now. Um, 
Come on, Deadpool. Me and you. I don't really want the helmet. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Good job, Deadpool. Man, this dungeon is a long one, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, the exit's over here. Holy cow, the place is huge. So I have an option on it called Smaller Dungeons. Um, doesn't... I thought I heard wind. Doesn't feel small. Oh, hi. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hey, Deadpool, I hate to say it, you gotta attack. Actually, get in here. We're gonna be taking this nap real quick. There we go. Well, this is... Okay, I know where we are. We haven't gone down here yet. Might as well, am I right? Oh, loot. Don't mind if I take. An elven claymore? I'm just gonna pick it up to sell. Technically... Give me a second. I wanna see... No... Not that. Okay, short blade, long blade, axe, and blunt. The primary is hand to hand in archery. Okay, so yeah, axe. Axe is my weapon with the bow, which right now I'm leaving the bow alone because I want more arrows for that. I went the wrong way because I want to go. Actually, no, I'm going the right way. I want to go over there. Where do I want to go? No, I went over there. And then I went over there. I think I'm done. Let's get out of here then. Follow me, Deadpool. I'm just going to take a quick glance. Yeah. Okay. I could just climb up this, probably. Um, is this way? You know, if I look at this map, it'll tell me. No, go back the way. I can't. Someone spilled ale here. Who is here and drank ale? Why? All right. I think we're done here. Horses passed by recently. Bird calls. Oh, man. So, fun fact about this game. When it was released, it is very, very... How do I say it? Technologically advanced for its time, for what this game did for its time. Now, on top of that... Rom 1, I meant to... Sorry about that. Look at this. This is the world map. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, each one's a little section you're gonna go to over time and do this and that. No. Each one is a huge map that has homes, towns, dungeons, and temples everywhere. Look at this. Is so much. Also, I'm gonna go to Daggerfall. Daggerfall, Daggerfall. Because that's where you usually get your start. Okay. Uh, I can go recklessly. And. No. I can camp out. Nah, we'll just do this. Welcome to Daggerfall. Hopefully, you don't arrive at. There we go. The city is extremely loud and crowded. Oh, yeah, uh, I can get airships. All right, thief, come with me. 
Oh, yeah. Daggerfall. For crimes against Daggerfall, summoners of Panarth are sworn enemies to King Gothard. Okay. And by the way, this is a town. Just one town. This is the main town in the game, too. Daggerfall. Alright. I'm on a mission for the Emperor to investigate the shade of King Lysandus. His spirit has been haunting the city of Daggerfall. The Emperor himself has charged me with the duty of laying his ghost to rest. There's also a minor matter of a letter he sent to Queen of Daggerfall. If you find out what happened in that letter, he'll be most appreciated. Before laying in Daggerfall. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So where I want to go first is green are taverns and blue are guilds. Let's just start going, I guess. I can also talk to people and ask for directions, like, hello? Uh, let's see. People, locations... Uh, what guilds do you have here? Majors, Fires, Knights of the Dragon... Knights... There's two Knights of the Dragon in the Fires Guild. Personally, maybe... I have no idea what the Knights of the Dragon is. Oh, thank you, Fighters Guild. Mages Guild. And the Archaeologist Guild. Wow, oh, thanks, ma'am. Okay, let's see. Is there any work? I don't know what pays, but Elzasa Kingsley has something over at the Archaeologist Guild. Okay, so the Archaeologist... Oh, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> So the archaeologists have something going on. I also want to go to the shops. But... Yeah, why not? We'll see what... Oh, wait. What time is it? Oh, wait. Look. Oh, uh, at 11. Okay, we have time. Yeah, let's go south. Oh, actually... Let me see. Residence, residence, residence. The superior used merchant. Nope, not that. I'm gonna loiter for an hour. Alright. Let's see what he offers, shall we? The shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. All of the items seem to be adequate in construction. Hello, dear sir. I would like to sell to you. Give me a second. What am I selling? Die Katana. Elven Claymore. I got two books. A bell. I'm gonna look at these real quick, so they could be something special. Um, let's see, I got a steel dagger. And an iron battle axe. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got. Alright, we got uh, Van Brace, Candle, Bracer, Wagon Part. Vampires, Iron Claymore, are not important for me. The Jade, a Mark. I'll take your bandages. Alright. Steel Katana, Leather Right Spalder, Brothers of Darkness, Wobble Jack. Die. Which, yes, I can dye my armor and clothing, but. At the moment, there's really not much to die for. Um, I mean, the lantern, I guess. Alright, and if you have it upstairs... Hello? Yes, okay. Holy water, bracelet, elven paint, oil, which will be useful. I'll have to, uh on my own time, fix the darkness mod, because dungeons should be a little darker than that, making you probably want to have to use, you know, lighting. But, 
I'm not worried about right now, because right now I'm in town, just going around and doing my own thing. By the way, Deadpool, don't do anything, please, that will get me in danger. Come, come. Alright, what's this guild? Let's find out. Let's go east. Residence, residence, more residences. Residence? Ah, you. The Knights of the Dragon. And the Flying Dragon, a tavern. Okay, and I'm gonna keep going south for a merchant. Oh yeah, I need to start jumping more. Oh, the Vintage Smith. Perfect, I need to repair my bow. Incense and soft music soothe your nerves at the cross the threshold. Each item in this shop is carefully mounted and displayed. Not the slice defect can be detected in any item within. I did not oh man, okay, he's doing his own thing right now. No, I'm not the bee. Though if I get desperate for money. Alright, what do we have here? Lots of armor, but I'm happy with the armor I technically got now. I want a clothing shop. I need a new set of uh Clothes. Hello, dear sir. Oh. I would like you to repair... Um... Oh. Wait. I didn't think it was gonna... Oh, is that mod I have to do? Is how many days it takes to repair items? Ah, uh, so that sucks. Oh. Nope. Oh, no, 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 I'm good. Thanks, though. I'm not ready to repair. I'll just use my iron axe for now. And the other bow. I'll have to figure out which mod I need to make it so those don't cost a day. I'd rather get the weapons I need and get moving. Ooh, a bookstore. Speaking of bookstore, that reminds me. Magical? No. Okay, let's see. Use the madness. Oh god, that's a long book. Um, yes. This book is too advanced. What? Oh, I forgot. So that's a skill book. I have a mod where, uh... I can get skill books, and that must be one of them. I can sell this one, though. But, from a book's... The Tablet of Ancient Knowledge? I hate to say, I'm gonna leave. There's not much I want here. Knights of the Dragon again. There's that tavern. Oh, man, keep going south. There's a lot of shops. I want a clothing shop. I at least want a metalworks, potions, odd blades. Which, eh, maybe. Superior bookstall, quantity, quality general store. Barbarian, the lucky wolf. Wait. Oh, okay. Daggerfall's best tailoring. Ooh. Okay, I want this place. I'll wait. Hello, oh, how are you doing, man? Oh yeah, for this I'm going to... Take off the armor and my weapon so I can actually... Oh, look at my leg. Oh, you get a little piece of that action. So I at least see what I'm gonna look like with my new clothing. Put that away. I we're in that threaten people. Yet. Also, is my leg fixed? No. Ooh la la. Hello, ma'am. Shop should be opening any second now. Shop. This shop is better acquainted than many. Its wares lie neatly on the shelves, although not fit for a king. All are skillfully crafted. Hello, dear sir. I would like to buy from you. Let's see what you've got. Impress me. I am not impressed. 
Not my thing. You can keep. Uh, a Khajiit suit. No idea. Don't like it. A toga. Ooh, I like that shirt. Boy, even better. That shirt's pretty good, but I want pants to go with it. Or even simple. Honestly, I'm feeling this red shirt. But then again, that short shirt. Uh, maybe this. And then I could buy dye and dye my shirt. I can get a brown dye, red dye, blue dye. I can also make it white, gray. Uh, I'll buy this shirt. All right. Oh, excellent, we got pants. No, no, no. Honestly, those are the better pants right now. A formal cloak. Which, now I'm gonna pass on. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna want tall boots. Okay, and then I'm gonna want some dye. I'm gonna buy some light brown dye. Thank you. And now I'm gonna use the dye. Oh, sorry. Use on boots. Oh, that actually doesn't look bad. I know I just spent that much for dye and pants. I know. I don't want to talk about it. Plain robes, and no. All right, I'm happy with my new outfit. One gold worth it. Now let me put my armor back on. And now I look like a gentleman. Thank you. So, where am I going? I can go to the Archaeology Guild. I can go to the Knights of the Dragon. And then I got a feeling that's the Fighters Guild or something like that. But yeah, let's go north. Or I can get a pub for the day. Hello. Ah, you're what I want. I would like some food and drink. I will take some stew. Thank you. And now, like a room uh, for one day. Okay. And now I'm gonna rest for a while. We'll do four hours. Ooh. That looks like Skyrim. So many places I can steal from in here. So many. You, one well, of you guys probably have a quest for me, am I right? No? Okay, well, I'm shocked. Well, I am going now to the north. I'm gonna go to this Knight of the Dragon. Might as well see what they're all about. Or I can go to the Archaeology Guild. Or I can go and... That's an armor. Uh, that's the Flying Dragon, so right behind it. Alright, keep up, man. We got this. I should probably buy more arrows. Well, I met Stranger. Alright, let's see what this place is like. Hello. Um, talk. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah, Roche. Your reputation precedes you. The Knights of the Dragon always have room for a skillful knight of high moral standing. I humbly ask you to join our ranks. 
I mean, sure, why not? Then consider yourself one of the rank of the proud... Of the, of the proud, the Knights of the Dragon. You shall begin as an aspirant. Though your rank in knight, the Knights of the Dragon is low, in Daggerfall, a reputation will follow you. Do not be surprised when you learn that no Daggerfall innkeeper will charge you for a room. It is an honor paid to all the Knights of the Dragon. Oh! Okay. Can't receive armor? Um... Cool. I'm not gonna receive your armor, because that seems really broken at the moment. Oh, 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 I don't like this. Get me out of here. Hello. Receive house? Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, wow, receive a house? That's really early for me. Yeah, it's so early, they won't let me. Oh, wait. I've already received the armor for your current rank. Oh, so I have to rank up to actually... Wait, I never actually accepted the armor. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't equip it. Oh, sweet, thanks. Oh, well. Just because you are also the Knights of the Dragon doesn't mean I have to help you. Jeez, okay. I would like to get a quest. Oh, we have a quest for you. The reports of a wraith that the ru- Oh, can I hurt a wraith? Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> we have a quest for you. There are reports of a wraith at the ruins of Bal- It's- Thea Hollow. Balathea Hollow. Find the spirit and seal its soul. This task is crucial to the safety of the tome. You will need to travel to Balthea Hollow, which is seven days to the east. I accept. Balthea is off that way east. It is now marked in a map. Return within three days or replacement will sought, be sought. Remember that this is a powerful kind of spirit and take any suitable weapon with you. I got a feeling that it's gonna suck, man. Alright. We have a quest. B A A L I. B A A L I. Let me save the game. There we go. B A A L I. B A A L I. Yep, that's it. It's gonna take me four days to get there. You're gonna send. Uh... Alright, let's do it. Wait, wait, really? What? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Within three days, but it's it is literally. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's do this. This is not working out the way I thought it would. Exit. Okay, it didn't work. I have to not be in town for that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm messing with some things here. So he wants me to do it in three days. No, I have to report back in three days. How am I supposed to get there in three days? Ah, huh. well. I'm not gonna be able to do this quest for the archeology span guild. <laughs> That sucks. That really, actually really does suck. Hmm. Alright. The Beaver Castle. There they are. Alright, maybe they got something for me. Hello. I would like to join your guild. 
Hmm, yes. You seem like a suitable candidate to assist us with our field work and finding the relics that we need for our research. We offer classes in all various obscure languages of Tamriel, as well as the mere practical skills required in the field while searching remote locations for interesting antiques and rare artifacts. New members receive a small recall mark with 30 charges to assist with transport without dabbing, dabbling in the magic arts. Once you rise in our rank, the field officer level, then you'll be able to get a recall mark re re your, your recall mark repaired and recharged. Beyond field work, our higher ranks are open to mere, more accomplished scholars among us and provide a large reduction to the cost of local locator devices. Note that only those with sufficient intellect will be promoted. Oh, I gotta get smart. Excellent, Roche. Welcome to the Archaeologists. We'll get you started on field work as soon as possible. You'll begin your Archaeologist career with the title of Field Assistant. With hard work and dedication, you may be recognized for a promotion soon enough. Please do make use of our training facilities to study languages or to improve your field work skills. Here's a book containing guild ranks and locations of all guild halls. Also, here's a mark of recall. A free locator device to try out the next time you find yourself in the lost yourself lost in a labyrinth, unable to find whatever it is you're seeking. Locators look like Akka symbols, and will activate once you've explored enough. Locators are provided free for guild quests involving dungeon dwelling, but you can also purchase them for us for a price with discounts given to any relics you can find in the guild. Oh boy, text. That was a lot of text for me. So, mark of recall. Interesting. Oh wait, what? Oh, locator device. Do I equip that? Info. Oh, okay. Training for 200. No thank you, because I only got... 452. Okay, 25, 52, whatever. Alright. Ooh, I can get a quest from you. I can repair it. Which, oh. Oh, you seem like a helpful red guard. Perhaps you can help me. Forgive my presumption, but I have just received some terrible news about my sister. She is desperately ill, and the cause eludes for the local experts. I received a letter from a temple healer this very morning, and the situation looks very bad. I, will, I would answer the healer myself, but my own health is not the very best, and the letter speaks of considerable dangers. What do you say? Can I put my sister's life in your capable hands? We would be forever be in your debt. A thousand thanks, dear Roche. Here the letter spoke up. Please act on immediately. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm going. No, I gotta go. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I must leave. Okay, one second. F5. Um, there. I am very sorry to report that your sister's condition is worsening. I recommend that if you can, you visit in person. I'm afraid I don't know how much time your sister has. If this wasn't bad enough, I must also warn you that Daggerfall is currently plagued with a gang of bandits that the local watch seems unable to deal with. If you do make the trip, I suggest take extra precautions. Despite all the bad news, there is perhaps a reason for hope, although I must not raise your spirits prematurely. I have just traveled to gentle Al the gentle altar of Kinarath to consult the most learned of my associates, and I pray to have better news to give you soon. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna oversave you. Okay. Okay, Temple of Gentle Altar. Okay. Let's do this. Um. No, no. No, what was it again? Yeah, gentle altar. Oh, gentle altar, my bad. 
No, don't, don't do that. Gentle altar. Uh, there it is. It's gonna take two days. Let's begin. The other quest is gonna fail. I might as well do this one. See what I can do. Looking around, you can see statues to each of the eight divines. Hey man, you still holding in there? How are you? I haven't talked to you much. 17 health, level 2? Well, that's good for you. Alright. Time to talk. Excuse me, sir. I, I'm looking for this. I, I got a feeling I know where it is. Alright, it's not you. No. No. Nope. 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 Hello, you look awesome. Ah. Barbolda. Master Wing's condition is very grave. There is, however, a thin silver sliver of hope. One of my learned compatriots is perfect perfecting a potion that they hope will work. The problem is that the ingredients are not only rare, but each sample must come from a specific location. Something to do with unique mineral properties. The ingredients are white poppy and root bulb. Our diviners have identified a suitable sample of white poppy somewhere in the depths of the hole of the Balu. Ba Balu. The spellcasters are still trying to conjure the location of the second ingredient. Take this sample directly to Borovira Ashsmith, who is concocting the potion for us. You'll find her here. Her in the Mage's Guild of Cross Street. Good luck. Oh, okay, so now... Alright. Move! Move! Alright. Save. Now, I am going to go to the hole of Balu. Hole of Balu. There it is. I would. Let's do this. For her. You were to report? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. I knew I wasn't getting that done. You guys chipped me on my time. Oh yeah, I can pull this out. Alright, man. I'm worried you might not make it. Let's do this. Alright, we're looking for an ingredient. Let's do this. I immediately don't like the looks of this place. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Follow me. Oh. Um, where are the go- Damn. Do you have anything for sale? Where am I? Fine, just... Let me go through. There's a naked nymph over there. So if you're wondering, I have a mod which puts all clothing on NPCs and towns. Nymphs still don't count, so hopefully you two doesn't get mad at me for that. Ooh, wait, follow me. Bat doesn't understand. Man, I, I am good at talking. I'm amazing at it. I'm the best talker. I'll take those for now. I'll drop them when I need to. There we go. Okay, uh, this is why I need lockpicking. You, buddy, come here. Damn. Alright, fine, let's do this. Come on. Well, actually, how strong are you? It's unknown. Ah, 
Ah, well, I'm not worried about it. Woo! We're going in deep. Oh. Help me. Help me. Thank you. Oh. Ow. The pain. Thank you. I'm healed. Alright, let's... Alright. If I could find an enemy, convert it, and talk to it about its location of the item, I can easily get in and out of here. Oh, hello. Oh. It's a mud crab. Oh. Woo! Okay. Um, hello. Okay, I just can't touch that chest. Odd. Thanks for giving me the pick lock ability, though. I appreciate it. Oh! Man, this axe is actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Alright, uh, both ways are new. There's nothing. Oh, hello. No. Come on. Get over here, man. I need you. Alright, come on. Holy cow. I never thought I'd miss this much. Especially from the back. Deadpool, do something. Am I gonna... Okay, what's wrong with you? You're new. And you're missing? Alright, let me just... Put the dagger in the other hand. Holy cow! This nymph's immortal? Oh wait, I finally got her. Finally. Come on. Come on. I will equip a bow just to destroy you. Alright. Come on. Holy cow, that was... Oh yeah, let's uh, rest. I'm done rusting. Enemies are still nearby, eh? Interesting. I think we've been here. Oh! Are we good? I think we're good. Alright, let's go. We must find that item for her sister. Ooh, a door. I like doors. They lead places. Oh, well, not anymore. Oh god, this dungeon's huge. Hey, Nymph, wanna be friends? Nope, okay, we're doing this again. Uh, 
Ugh. Wait, how are you? Wow, he's only missing two health. He's doing better than I thought. Oh, this room looks really good. Sadly, there's nothing here I need. The way I came. I hear another one. Oh, uh, someone killed a bat. I wasn't here before. Things are dead. Wait, was I here? Let me see. Oh, I actually have been here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go up, up. And go up and take a left. Oh, hey, um, you know what time it is. Oh, I can't, never mind. Alright, I'll try. Damn. Come on. Oh, hello. I'm gonna chop you down like the tree you are. There we go. Oh, a palm. All right, I don't need healing. I'm just gonna save. Go, go, go. Nothing. What am I looking for again? I'm looking for a white poppy. Once I find the white poppy, I need to leave because I don't know if the girl will die in a couple days. You know, don't worry, Deadpool, I got it. Thanks, though. Uh, this place goes far. There we go. Yeah, he gets right. Oh no, stay away from him. Stay away. Don't kill him. There. Are you alright? How are you? Oh god, oh, he's hurting. He's missing seven health. Where am I? Alright, uh, if I go this way. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we go. No white poppy. There has to be... Oh. Oh yeah, I'm deep right now. Really? Well, you're right. Give me a second, what's my axe at? It's almost new. I am shocked, actually. Ow, help me. There we go. All right, in here, we rest. I'm not worried about my MP. Anything up there? No. Okay. So far, this is not but a dead end. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Um, okay. I say just run around until I find a way I didn't go already. So I'm down here. Aha, I didn't go this way. Nope. Oh, wow. Well, that was something. Good, I'm actually happy. Okay, uh, go left. Once again? No. Damn. I did you, did you. Now if I go straight. Excuse me, map. I'm trying to look at stuff. Alright, don't go down there. But if I go... 
Okay. I might be able to get something done. No other way. This way? And then... Go this way. Then... Yep. And then... Aha! Uh -huh. I saw that door on my map! The unquestionably... This is unquestionably the sample you are looking for. Well done! Let's get out of here! We have to save her! Um, the exit is... Oh, give me a second. Oh dear. Um... I wanna go here. So, do 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 do. Oh. I could cheat. And I will this one time. No, actually, I won't. Um, okay, man. Let's get moving. Oh man, it's starting to rain. Rain real good. I'm trying to finish this because I got work to... Oh, wait. Aha! Work still tomorrow. And I'm tired. Wait. No. Yes. Right, that's the bat I made friends with immediately. And the springin'. Don't want to join me? No. That went when did Deadpool? Alright, log. Mage's Guild and Crostery. No, that's... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, ingredient. We are frostery. Is that just the location? Yep, there it is. You are... a day away. I'm gonna do camp out. Let's begin. Enjoy this beautiful traveling. Oh. A small shrine outskirts of town. Someone left some one left some golden poppy as an offering. This one is really cool. Oh, you can move during it. Ah. Eh, it takes too long for me personally. Fine cross. Cross three. Yes. Begin. You see a statue with a plaque that reads, Saint Lysina, Lysina Master Heart of Crostery. The rest of the plaque gives a description of her life. Alright, we need... Oh. The 15th of the Morning Stars, a holiday taken very ser seriously in Crostery, where they can call it Southwind's Prayer. A plea, a plea by all the religions of Tamriel for a good planting season. Citizens with every affliction known in Tamriel flock to the services of the Hamlet's temples, as the clergy is known to perform free healings on this day. Only a few will be judged worthy of this service. A few can afford the temple's usual price. 
That's also a mod I installed, is flavor text when you enter towns. I like it. Alright, what am I looking for? Mage's Guild. Understood. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm looking for blue, so we'll go north first. The pig in the fairy. Residence, residence. Ah, you go left more. A page quietly offers you a letter and departs. I'll read it soon. I'm busy right now. That's the Fighters Guild. Damn, that's not where I wanted to go. So maybe there? Aha! Mage's Guild. I foundeth you. Take this flower of white poppy. I'm not here for a quest. Do not offer me anything. No. Hello? Nope. No. Also, I like the look of this guild, not gonna lie. Ah, nope. Ah! Ah! Rush! We've been expecting you! I'm afraid I have some bad news. A sample of root bulb has been detected in Greensley Guard as a volunteer sent to retrieve it. But they should have returned by now. I fear they have met an unfortunate end in the depths of that cursed pit. Time is running out. You are now our only hope for recovering the sample we desperately need. Are you willing to dwell into Greensley Guard and find the root bulb? I'm afraid we have no choice. Also, whoa, the lighting changed. Weird. You look high. But yeah, I am willing. Also, who sent me a letter? Rosh Redguard, service you. Okay, please forgive my in indiscretion. The Emperor spoke to me concerning you, and I have some information to offer you. If what is. Ah, okay. Is this that. Okay. One second, what? In the region of Daggerfall, some ruins by the name of Master Ham's Guard lie in the wilderness. The place has been adopted by a specimen of Oblivion, a Daedra Lord named Rat God. The silence known. Agma Infurium. Huh. Okay, so only thing I know about the quest this guy gives you, it's one, random, and two, they are nighly impossible, but they give you a really good item if you're able to do it. So don't expect me to do that. As much as I would love to have a great item. Let's just say... not happening. But I think I can call it here. Next time... I'm gonna save her. I'm going to Greensley Guard. Until they'll see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>